Welcome everybody to today's video. I will teach you how to install other hotkey and specifically v2 which is now fully released. So first of all let's uh, go to the path where I have other hotkey so I can delete it but before that I exit my script delete everything now without my hotkeys which I'm so used to. We go to autohotkey.com uh, it will say download, then you can click download, v2. Great, now we get an installer, which actually might be deleted by your browser. Don't worry, it's not a virus, that's normal, it happens to a lot of people. Just download it again, or basically say, oh, ignore uh, this file, like it's okay. Then, when you open this file, Windows Defender might actually step up and say, oh, we can't run this file, it's bad. Once again, it's not bad, so when you get that window of, are you sure? You should press more info, and then there will be a button down below saying run anyway. So click run anyway. Okay, now you finally have this window, just like I do. Right, you can do that, huh? Uh, so install for all users to this path specifically. Most things won't break if you have it in a different uh, path, but also HK is not a fully mature language where you could just install it anywhere. Not really. Many tools and programs expect you to have AutoHotKey in this path, so I really recommend using this path specifically and not changing it. Click Install, yes, and we will see another window pop up. Here it is, AutoHotKey Dash. So, what you need to do is press Launch Settings. Uh, you can either decide to run all the scripts with a specific interpreter, for example, if you only have one, so V2 delays this version. There's no interpreters for you to choose from, so might as well run all of them. But that's not specifically recommended because you would lose out on some features. Say you end up installing v1, essentially, for something that you would need. Not sure what you would need from v1. I personally hate it, but maybe you do. Well, now you have this feature that picks the version to run your script with automatically by looking at the syntax. So, use auto-detect version when launching scripts for this reason, because no matter what version it is, it will pick the correct one, pretty much always. Also recommend latest 1.x and 2x, 64-bit, Unicode, uh, and with UI access. You don't have to use UI access, but there's no negative for you to use it, so you might as well. And when detection fails, here you pick your uh, default language, or maybe you have asked the user. That's probably the default, actually, that if it doesn't understand what version you're using, it would ask you. But I only use v2, so yeah, and pick these boxes as well. Great. Editor settings. You can actually right-click and edit script. Your default will probably be Notepad, but you can choose your own program. I use Visual Studio Code, so I pick that, press OK, great. Let's close it. Actually, we forgot to do another thing, so let's go and open this window once again. We go to C, Program Files, Auto Hotkey, UX, and then look for UI Dash. That's pretty much the only file we need to know here because it runs many other files. What we need to click is compile. Auto hotkey to exe is not installed, but we can download and install it for you. What is this? Essentially, usually auto hotkey scripts have the AHK extension, but you can convert them into an exe that you can send to a friend, for example. Well, this is that. Really useful, but not often. We press yes once again, and the compiler should pop up, or rather the GUI version of the compiler. 
any moment now. Here it is. But the thing is, you won't really need to use it that much. We don't need auto hotkey dash anymore. Let's go to SCR keys. And now, finally, I think I can enable it. <sighs> My hotkeys are back. So, you can actually just right click and press compile script. And it will pop up. So, you don't even need to use that. Oh my god, being able to delete files with the mouse. Mwah. God, I am so stressed out when I don't have my hotkeys. You have no idea. So, what if you don't have edit script, compile script, Rosin as administrator, so on? Well, you should, but I'm not sure whether you might not. So, open with, always use this app to open .hk files, more apps, look for another app. And now you go to C program files auto hotkey v2 and choose the sim link. And now it should get fixed, but it didn't for some reason. Well, 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 well. I was trying to be smart to account for even more situations, but I guess that didn't work. So usually what you would do is open with and this strange auto hotkey without any specification would pop up. So you just pick always use this app, auto hotkey, and here you go. Now it's fixed. Great. Well, that's actually it. That's the entire process. And now if you use uh, the VS Code extension, which you might not, you would use select auto hotkey to interpreter and just pick it, but it wouldn't actually pop up right away. So you enter interpreter path, uh, find, then go to C program files for the hotkey V2 and don't pick the UIA versions, pick the 64. But it's not usually what you would need. And I have other tutorials on the auto hotkey V2 extension for VS Code, which will pop up in your screen right now. As you might have guessed, I make auto hotkey tutorials on this channel, as, as long, along with some other stuff as well, like C sharp. I've made at least one video on that, and there will be more. A lot of new of him stuff, the really specific stuff you just wouldn't find, but I did, so you don't have to worry about as many stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, well, here you go, you have my channel. Uh, and if you're interested specifically in learning on a hotkey, I have a playlist for that. Matter of fact, I have playlists for everything, so you can binge everything very easily. And if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or a suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!